this is Steve. This is Bob. This is Jay. <laughs> we're freaking out. Um, so look, uh, we're going to start with like the last three minutes of this episode were the best three minutes of the entire thing. Now I'm going to just start right off the get, right off, right out of the gate. Well, we have to say this is Star Trek Discovery season two. Everybody knows. Episode 14. <laughs> the final, the Sweet Sorrow. Point part two. Although I do think this episode should be renamed Retcon. <laughs> retcon. That yeah. episode was one right. giant retcon. I gotta drop my fan theory. Big yeah. fan theory. All right, here. Got you, All right. So Giorgio was on Discovery, right? Yeah, that's surprising. Because right. she's she's supposed to have her own series. So my my idea is that mm -hmm. hey, she's with them. She's gonna be on that yeah, show. Yeah, she's on that show. That's her show. So the next show, the other show they were talking about is Captain Pike and Spock. Yeah, on the That's Enterprise. it. They set the whole thing up. It's the, it, it, Don't you guys you understand what we just I, saw? We just saw them saying, we're doing it. Yeah, that's what it seems like. It certainly seems like on that. The, they're on the bridge. Spock is all Spockified. Yeah, he's got a shirt. He's shaved. He's got the blue shirt on. I he love the awesome. cast. I love number one. The cast is, is great. But, the ship, they built their... So we learned that they built the, the set for the Enterprise, yes. a standalone set, not the kind of thing you do for an episode or two, throw right. away. They didn't right. repurpose another set. Like they could have green screened the whole, like, the whole thing, sure. or, or some of it, or a lot of it. Yeah. it. That investment, you know, makes me hope and wish that... And the whole ending of this episode was the Enterprise. Right. Why would they do yeah, that? I mean, the Enterprise got re-outfitted, Spock shaved, he's like, I got my shit together. Well, Everybody... The, no, it's not a done deal. I mean, that's a great send-off, because this is the end of the Enterprise, Spock, and... And uh, and Bob, Pike, Pike. Bob, for, it seem a as little... a major players in the Discovery series. But doesn't it seem a little like you can't like put that out there and then be like, psych? You know what I mean? Like, no, yeah, you, you can. can. Yes, you can. No. You can. Yes, you can. We will see. I mean, is CBS was... going to tell us at some point? Well, now would be the time. But the thing is, yeah. So the thing that the, I think the strongest part of that theory is that Giorgio is is on the discovery. I know she was supposed to have like. Were we assuming that she was going to be section thirty two? Yes, yeah. 31. 31, 31, 31, 32, 32 whatever, it takes. whatever it takes. No, but so <laughs> so we just made that assumption. But what what kind of series could she get nine hundred years in the future? Like what? She's not getting her own series. She's on discovery. Or maybe she finds some weird time loop thing machine and she can come back in time. The only, only one to her. come back. All right, so she's on. It's possible. So it's the, stupid. Th this is where I'm confused. I'm, I'm not remembering like what we heard read versus what reality is. I thought that she was going to have sec a section 31 show. Mm. Did we come up with that on our own just from talking to each other or is that what we heard? She's on Discovery. She's yes. part of that crew. She's not getting her own show. Why did we right. think she was getting her own show? Because we read it. Okay. So. But was that speculation or was so, that CBS official? Hey man. It all looks like we it's have coming to sort together. all this out. This man. is probably one of the best weeks I've had in a long time. Because <laughs> yeah. it certainly seems like Spock and Captain Pike and Number One are going to get their own TV show after that send off. Number one and Number Two. On the side note, if you enjoyed playing City of Heroes, you might be playing it in about two weeks again. Uh, that's a totally separate totally episode. different story. But I'm just saying that's why this week <laughs> yeah. is so awesome. So all right, the episode was very good. Yeah, the combat Solid. was really hard to follow. It was way too complicated for, I think... But I think it was just like, it's just chaos. You right. don't have to follow it. It's just, there's all kinds of chaotic shit happening. But some of the scenes were amazing. amazing. Where you had the two fleets facing off against each other, just explosions on both sides. That, that was, was an amazing... That's, that one image was yeah, really yeah, yeah. a mainstay from that, oh, from that battle. And when all those uh, drones came off the uh, Section 31 ships, like, whoa! See, <laughs> that, see now that's a... Th there are two things in this episode that made me think, right. yes, Finally, technology that, of course, is going course to exist in the future. Yeah. So you got the you got the swarm technology because swarm technology it's, it's such a no brainer. You know you know it's so fighting one big bad is hard, but fighting a thousand or ten thousand little bads is yeah. a lot harder. Yep. So of course you're going to do that. Um, we're seeing swarm technology now with drones and with mm -hmm. fighter fighter jets. You're going to have fighter jets that are that are, have no people. They're going to be all imagine a swarm of drone jets coming after sure. you. I mean, it's a, mm -hmm. so that's great because that stuff is right, what needs was the to be included. Thing? The, the robots. second one, the robots finally they listen to me. Robots. They had <laughs> robots coming out of these little holes in the in the right. primary hull to go repair stuff. Of course, that's a great idea. But you and finally we see robots. On track. I'm very happy with just those two things yeah. made me very mm -hmm. happy, mm -hmm. and that's th those were just little little tidbits. So I'll tell you one of the things that bothered me a little bit when uh, 
when the admiral had to pull the lever yeah. to protect the ship. It just seemed yeah. very really ham hockey. It was to me. contrived, it was but contrived. it was a good way to send off that character. So the admiral's gone, Admiral Cornwall. Yeah, yeah. we and knew we knew she was going to die. I really liked her. She was cool. She yeah. was good. Yeah, she was cool. But again, yeah, but she that doesn't didn't exist otherwise. How did she track. know that Pike had a different fate? You know, like what I don't know if she it? if she knew it or mm. if she was just that it was more just in the moment. Yeah, metaphorical. I don't Seemed know. a little, you know. Uh, but how about wait? How yeah. about this throwaway line from Jet when who was it? Saru said, "You need to do that in half the time, like a typical Scotty, yeah. like you know." No, it was Burnham. He said, "Can you cut that in half?" And she's like, "Change the she laws of physics? physics." No, uh, no, that was a <laughs> fantastic throwaway line and uh, homage to Scotty, which yeah, is great. She's character. great. I'm, I'm glad well, she, she made it through. Yep, I'm glad she didn't die. I now, thought, another I thought thing she was we were surprised die. about was that they ended the show without showing Discovery yeah. yes. live. We don't know where they are. We don't know what next season's going to be. And so yeah, we were talking beforehand. Well, we'll, we'll get to see what happens, or, or will we? They could end it on a cliffhanger, yeah. which yeah. is what they did. We don't know where Discovery is. We we know the plan was to go 950 years in the future. We wow. know from the Trek shorts that the end of, that the Discovery is the thousand year, the millennium in yeah. the future, but. Uh, we know nothing else. Yep. You know, they just left us hanging for until next season, whenever that is. I don't think they've announced a date yet. Wow. The, the other big thing that happened was they re they retconned oh God. everything, yeah. right? So they, they made it make sense that Discovery's gone and no one can talk about the Discovery or the people on it or the spore drive. Yeah. That's it. No one's allowed because Spock came up, concocted yeah, this idea. Yeah, you can't talk about it ever again. Yeah. <laughs> So that's it. that's the retcon thing. It's like that's why Spock never talks about his sister that he loves that yeah. he had to save right. the universe by going into the future. Okay. So okay, yeah, all right. You know they they tied it up with a nice little bow. Yeah. So what's gonna uh, just, what's gonna happen? I want to know gonna, what's gonna, gonna, gonna happen. Pop out on the other end of nine hundred and fifty years. We don't know where they're gonna be. We don't know what's going on. That's it. It's the unknown. They've got an empty canvas. They yeah. can. Tow, oh my it's god. It's a brilliant idea. They. <sighs> I, I love it. Um, but yeah, damn. You know they have to do. Pike and Spock now. That's it. I mean, we're so obsessed with this. Uh, well, I mean, that's of course, of course, we are. Like every fan of Star Trek is going to be obsessed with this because that's the show. That's the show that we want. Yeah, it's all the elements are there. The casting is fantastic. The bridge is. Uh, you are finally starting to come around. <laughs> Gee, I'm always there with you. I'm just, I'm just doubtful that they're going to do it. But <laughs> definitely, this episode. This is the episode you would do if you're going to do that. Exactly. Ex right. Thank that's, you. That's what I. When I was sitting I there, totally, like, totally. if they keep doing it, wait, is Spock going to shave? Wait, is because the first thing he does is go like this. As soon as wait, he grabs his beard. Wait, is Spock going to put the shirt on? Wait, is Spock going to walk on the bridge? It was literally like, hey, they they might as well have just had Captain Pike say, "All right, guys, come on, we're we're starting an OTV I show." I disagree. I disagree. You're right. That would be a, a great way to start a new series, but it's also a great way to end their involvement in Discovery. I mean, right? right? That's a great ending for them. I reject like, your I'll, reality I'll, because I'll, I don't want it. Okay. No, but yeah, but wouldn't they both make sense? Wouldn't both they make have sense. Put, transitioned to Discovery? Yeah. Then, no. Or the other thing is, so where are we with the Section Thirty One show? Did we make that up? Is, uh, did this, we? Is that a false memory? We, on we our already part? talked about what? it. I thought I read. I thought I read that. I We're don't gonna know. have to research this now. Yeah. Is there gonna be? No. I also remember because also because I think CBS. If they are doing this, they've been they've been totally gaslighting us for months. Sure, but they would do like, that. Hang on, because. Like, I was reading an interview with Anson Mount. It's like, yeah, I'd love to do that, but, oh, you know, there'd be... The CBS has his plate full with the Section 31 show. He mentions it. He mentions with, it. Yeah, with... Or did All right, so we didn't, we didn't create that in our mind then. That's good. That's good, because none of us are tripping yes, balls. CBS announced a Star Trek series focusing on Section 31 starring Michelle. Okay, Miguel. great. Yeah, so uh, but, we didn't make it up. So. But Section 31, 950 years in the future? It doesn't make no, any sense. No, she's going to come back. She's going to come back. She can't come back. There's a million ways they can make her come back, oh, and we'd be like, on. oh, okay. Of course guess... they can, because there's time travel, and the Enterprise has gone back in time, and blah, blah, blah. Look, I've had Maybe enough of this. I've had travel. enough of this. It's the Pike and Spock show, and that's it. We will move on now. <laughs> it was a great episode. It was it was it was a great season, full, full of adrenaline. Oh my god! The second half of they this season it. was it was know, Trek. Man. It was it was, it was Star Trek without a doubt. You know, this, this whole thing with Spock and Pike, though. Yeah. Is apparently I'm not done. All right. It is the but Bob. It is the TV show that everybody wants. Everyone on the internet. Yeah. Why is would they out. give us exactly what we want? Right, exactly. They, they have no other decision to make. It's more important than, in my opinion, I would rather watch that show than Discovery. All right, how about this? Maybe, yeah, but, but maybe, maybe five months ago or whatever, that was the plan, 
And then the reaction to Pike and the Enterprise was so overwhelming. They're like, you know what, forget that. We'll keep George Joe on Discovery. That's her new show. Well, and we're just going to do Pike and Spock. Th that's and what it Enterprise. seems like, because she's on Discovery. All right. But anyway, let, we should just talk about yeah, let's the talk show. About, yeah. And the whole season. So yeah. it, it was a really good wrap-up episode. They literally used a plot device to have like a recap of the whole season. Yeah. Because you know, it turns out that... Uh, Michael Burnham is is the Red Angel. She's the one who is sending the signal. She had to line up all the signals in order to go into the future, yep. and that was basically a flashback to all the the whole season. Yep. You know, and all, all the signals went to all the things that needed to happen in order See, to bring them to this. It's moment a great callback, time. though. You know, yeah. reliving mo ep key moments from the entire right. season. It was great. Yeah, it was good. At first, I was thinking, wait, is this a is this a clip show? Like, <laughs> oh no, no. no. It, it, but it, but it, it was it good. was very it was complicated, good. though. You know, it, yeah. you know, it was a little hard to follow. A little, you know, a little bit. I'm like tr trying to remember, like, oh yeah, I remember that kind of. You know, it wasn't yeah, yeah. like fluid in my mind. Um, but I'm confused, though. So what did her mother do then? If her mother was the Red Angel, her, what did her, she do? She was trying to get rid of control. Yeah. She was trying to, to she make, kept going back in time make changes to, to, to end get rid the of control, control, and she kept failing. So but, but, but she had nothing they, to do with the... But with, didn't they talk to her and say, so why did you contact us here? Why did you contact She said she didn't. Remember, she said she didn't send the signals. I, clearly, I don't. She said <laughs> clearly. she didn't send the signals. Like, well, somebody else must have. Then they realized it actually was Michael. Okay, right. That's so why they Michael rebuilt the that's why they And built that's why it had suit. her biosignature, which answers that question yeah, that we exactly. had. All right. It wasn't, so, just, uh, it wasn't just a They tied family. it up nice. They right, they, tied it they up can retcon nice. like nobody else, yeah. man. They can no, that clean was the it up. most retconning I've ever seen in one episode. This was clearly yeah. but fine, and fine. hero conning. Whatever. They knew this was coming. Yeah. They they, right, they, right. they wrote the whole season. They yep. knew this was happening all season. I True. loved I loved the second half of this season. I I really enjoyed Pike yeah. as captain. You of did? course. No, <laughs> he he was great. I think you know he really made things gel. Like it was yeah. really good to have like this and super we had experience. Eight years. There's yeah. eight years of timeline. What are that you hinting at? It's, it's, no, it's, it's such a no-brainer. We are so uh, obsessed. I can't believe it. I know. Such really, a but, this is, but Bob, this is what Trekkies are doing right now. Anyone that watched Discovery and experienced what this. Is but it's, me. But yeah, it's so funny because Discovery had, you know, they had a good first season. They killed it in the second season. We're loving this. And we're and talking. I can't wait and we're till talking. The third and we're yeah, but we're talking about another another series. Yeah, because they because made us. They gave they us made us love it so much. <laughs> All right, but get, pivoting back to Discovery though, nine hundred and fifty years in the future puts them beyond any Star Trek yeah. series ever. So they are now, as you said, blank slate. You know, virgin territory. Like it's going to be even beyond uh, Patrick Stewart's you know series, yeah. which is coming yeah. out eventually. I mean, there. You, know, you just think about the writers sitting down going, whoa, what are we going to do? I love you know? that. That's, that's, too. that's you know, balls. I've done they a little bit of writing balls. that I've done, like mainly for role-playing stuff. When you do Can't that, they did it. it's like, oh, I get to to you know advance my world a few hundred years in the future, like yeah, shuffle the decks yeah. and like say, oh, what's happened to these guys? Well, it's, that's so much fun. Oh, my God. They're going to have a great time. But, you know, it's ballsy. It's ballsy. It's, it's scary. It's great yeah. We get to take that ride with them. Ooh, what are the Klingons doing? What yeah. are the Romulans doing? What, what, what aliens are, are not going to be like... Uh, what like, happened to the Borg? Yeah, what, yeah like in... Uh, from going or from the Dominion or going, Right, going from the classic Trek to, to next gen, some sp Andorians disappeared. You just didn't even see them. Like, yeah. what happened to them? Yeah. Tellerites, all these species. So what are they going to do? What are they going to get rid of? What are they going to add? You to me, know, that's just like it's intimidating. To, they better to, to have they better that be slate. Bold. If they just if they just like keep the same thing, but you know a little bit different, that'll be boring. Uh, they they can, really they, they need really, to make it totally yes, different. Yes, exactly. And imagine the ship. I mean, assuming that technology has we kept the pace. But we don't know if Starfleet exists. Right. At that point. But imagine the technology they could mm -hmm. showcase. Wow. I mean, they could be entering, just speculating right now, but they could be imagine like, the robots. imagine if they went to a future where, where Starfleet kind of, something happened, and like, then yeah. they like reestablish, Jedi. yeah, like they reestablish Starfleet. Maybe they'll run into the Vorlons. Yeah. That's, that's Wait, the wrong oh, oh, by the way, I really, I, I, I'm happy that there was no hint at all in this episode that Leland created the Borg. Nobody, yeah, I didn't even think of that. Nobody seemed a lot of people online. Nobody liked it. Oh, anybody yeah, anybody yeah. thinking that was a cool idea? It's not a great. It's no, not a good it's idea. Dumb. The Borg need to be almost like out of the out of the uh, galaxy. Yeah. Origin, you know, they can't be like created by. No, they remember Q. Q sent the Enterprise D like so far away. You know, to, to to meet the Borg that first time, they were in another quadrant of yeah, the galaxy. They're quadrant. not. They're not around there. Not in yeah. the Alpha Quadrant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Delta, I don't Delta know, I remember, Gamma. I don't remember. Yeah. 
Well, okay, so, the, you know, great season. Ah, they they really did step so it up this season. Mm -hmm. It started a little soft, you know. I remember we got to get but their yeah, they had yeah. to get their sea legs, but it it shaped up to be very good. And then it just really was very powerful from the halfway yeah. point forward. Yeah, I, I know. Like one good benchmark for a series because we binge a lot of series, we watch a lot of and some that drop once a week. Like, how much am I looking forward to next week's yeah. episode? And yeah. the we've been first excited. half of the season was like, oh, that was a good episode. That was all right. That was yeah. a good episode. Yeah. And then, then I go do other th other things. The second half of the season is like, I can't wait for yeah. the what next are they episode. Gonna do? What's, What's going to happen? Yeah, exactly. Well, the way that I measure it is how much am I talking about it? Like, yeah. And because, you know, I'm on the phone with you guys every day. Like, we, mm. we were talking about it. We were asking a lot of questions. Yeah. I, then I became obsessed with Captain Pike. Yeah. That's when I really was In like. a very unhealthy they're, way. They're on to something here. I remember, like, I was like one of the first people to be like, "This guy is something yeah, else, man." Like, this is, he as is soon so as we saw him, him, as soon as yeah. we saw him, we're like, "Damn, that's a no, good Mike. That's he's, a great." The first ten it. seconds, yeah. we're like, "He's damn good." He I nailed him. I like in this episode, he's like, "We're Starfleet. Get it done." Yeah. yeah. And it didn't sound cheesy. That's nope. the thing. He yeah. can pull off a line like that, yep. and it doesn't sound cheesy. He's perfect for that role. Yep. It was great. Maybe, could you read you read that interview? I sent you guys that yeah, link, yeah. and and he, he was, was cool. he was very cool. He's very he was saying, yeah, I mean, I'd like to do it. He's like, I don't know anything you don't know. So he's flat out lied. <laughs> Fine, he's lied to that's us, exactly and I'm okay with what that. CBS would but, tell him to say. But this, but this is yes, but this is what he said. He's like, um, he's like, I'd be willing to do it, but it would take a lot of creative conversations to make this happen. So I was like, all right, so it's a long that shot. That doesn't mean anything. But I know, but I'm anything, just saying, yeah. he's flat out working against. You know, he's. He's under some contract where he's like, we I, hope you got to yeah, lie to people now, and I'm okay with that. I'm sure. He, and look, if he got his own, essentially starring in his own TV show, like the, you know, that's an actor's dream. I'm sure mm -hmm. that Anson is super happy if it, if it's happening. I'm sure that if it isn't, he would really like it to happen. It's steady work, and yeah. it's a fantastic. He's a yeah, fan. It's iconic. He's a fan. And then Spock, you know, played by Peck, right? That's yeah. The thing. It, uh, also fantastic. Yeah, he did a great job. I was waiting for him to shave his beard the whole episode. Yeah, the knew, it, knew it was going to happen. As soon as he grabbed his beard, I'm like, he's shaving it. Awesome, uh, yeah. we're going to see it. And you know, he looked great as the the you know the version of Spock that we see in the series. I honestly didn't think that anyone was going to be able to play Spock in in even in their own way. Yeah. that I was going to accept. But he did it. He I'm, nailed it. I'm accepting him. Yeah. Like I, it was really yeah. a hard thing. I didn't even like other people wearing the Vulcan makeup. Yeah. Nobody looked Vulcan to me. They always looked <laughs> weird. Like they hit him with the weird ray. You know. Like, <laughs> but now, but it's hard to pull off a Vulcan. It is. It's hard to be a dynamic actor, but in a not emotional character. And yeah. most people come off as stiff or cardboard. It's hard. To, you have to have that sort of undercurrent of emotion in that character. Yeah. Leonard Nimoy did a great job. I think this guy's doing a better job, if anything. He's, I think he's a better actor. Well, he's, I wouldn't say he's doing better, a better job than Leonard Nimoy. He, I mean, Leonard Nimoy, is, he created the character. Yeah, he's I mean, iconic. It, you know, he is Spock. But the point is, though, this guy... But, I, but Peck might be a better actor. He, he, he's done an amazing job. First of all, the writers did a very good job. Yeah. We yeah. got to see Spock's struggle between the Vulcan and human, you know, yes. as he, as he, this critical moment in his life. It was very cool that his sister was like the person that yeah. helped him kind of get over the hump. Um, but it does set up Spock's psychology very well. Like yeah. I can see like, um, I constantly they think of like things character. that Spock did on, on the yeah. original series. You know, when I'm watching this, I'm like, that's very Spockish of him. That's cool. Like I, I get Spock, they, this is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. I understand Spock, the character, better now than I did before the series. Exactly. Sure. Same thing with Pike. Yeah. We were talking about that. Yeah. We have very little story about Pike, but they took that, and now like the, his whole relationship um, with the girl from Talos 4, and he, you know, he knows that he's going to end up in the chair, and he's like, that's my fate. I'll deal with it. Uh, he's such a deeper character now yeah. than he was, and that is good writing. Yeah. See, that is great writing. That is, that is good character development, and that's what has always driven Star Trek is the character development. We love, We have to love these characters. We want to be in their house, you know, and go on journeys with them. Right, hang and, you know, and, and, and be buddies and, and with And they them. did that, and, then they're, and they're, they made a huge step forward with Discovery. That's still my one complaint about Discovery, is they need to develop the secondary characters. Yeah. Well, I already like number one better than any other character on right? Discovery, yeah. right? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it is pretty <laughs> that's remarkable a good point. when you think about this. We got to know Pike and Spock way better than we got to know pretty much anybody else. I mean, yeah. we know Michael pretty well. We know her well, right? Of course. And Saru. 
I feel like and then Stamets, okay. Yeah, but but we know Tilly, yeah, Tilly Pike a little and bit. Spock. Like it's like you have like you know you have Stamets and you have Saru and you have Michael and then you have Pike and Spock. Like they've they, they've yeah. spiked yeah. these characters. And you're right. Like number one, just in this episode, I'm like, I got that character. Yeah, I totally got understand I mean, her. I want, to, I want to see right. more episodes. Yeah, I like her. her. I want to see more of her. And. It's almost as if something is going on. But they, but they did that to like with Jet, the new engineer on. Yeah, she's great. She's great. I love her. Just like yeah. that's a secondary character. Like I get yes. her. She does those throwaway like those one liners where you like think about how much character development and relationship development that one line about break the laws of physics. No. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I that mean, was great. Look, at I least I can I picture her. all Glad the people. Are, I can picture yeah. every character that's on the bridge now. At least I can at least visually draw. You know, make their face appear in my mind, which I couldn't do at the beginning of this season. I didn't know what they all looked like. I, you know, I barely remembered yeah. the two people. But still, I still struggle to remember like Detmer's name, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, it's, or, it's coming oh, well, though. It's, I don't it's, know their names. I don't know their Bryce. names. I, mean, I, mean, I had to look, you know, I had to like, before we recorded this, I had to like, let me remind myself of their character's name, but. but I, don't, I, mean, I don't know their names, I've seen every episode. I, I don't know their names yeah. off the top of my head. But, all right. So we're looking forward to season three. Hang on. Yeah. All right, what else? Who's going to be the captain of Discovery? Oh, jeez. I have a theory. Well, I mean... My new theory after watching this episode. Is it... Georgiou. Michael. Yeah, Giorgio. 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 She mentioned her as the captain of Discovery. Be Discovery. nice, but they... they were, can, they, can they trust her? <laughs> it's not, you know, the, but at what cost? But the, the, the they... The they is just the people That's on Discovery. Right. There's no Starfleet. There's no Starfleet. They, well, we don't know. Look, she we killed Leland. She she really like you know she did kind of turn a corner even though it was like sinister right because it was really cool to watch her glow over her like yeah. just she played yeah. it he's like you were the easiest algorithm to figure out and she's like uh, 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 <laughs> you know? it was so perfect all right oh my god but between great, Michael great. Saru and Joy Show oh, I mean so Saru is now fearless Saru yeah he's bald he, yeah. yeah. he would be great as a captain too make nah. make Joy the head of security or something. Michael, I think, is out of town. But they're, here as captain they're the triumvirate. Team. They're the triumvirate. Yeah. yeah but, 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 you know, again, honestly, any one of them could be captain. But I think, what would, who would you want to be sitting in that captain's chair? George O. George O, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think she's so. She's got the experience. She's got... And she was their captain. The wherewithal. And, and yeah. she knows Kung Fu. Right? <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's awesome. Right, and yeah, you don't uh, want her being your number two, breathing down your neck. Yeah, of you course. Just, yeah, we sure. Give it to her. The chairs are just, just don't, take it. just don't take over <laughs> the world. The so maybe that was the show they're talking about, Giorgio. If she's a captain, it'd be kind of her show, yes. kind of. Yeah. It's a great way to bring her back. Oh, man. All right, well, maybe Discovery becomes Section 31-ish in the future. Maybe that's the Section 31 eh, show. No. But the point is, whatever, it's not what we were told can't happen now. Yeah. I mean, that's the well, bottom line. Well, it still can kind of happen. Do, but that would be so yeah. lame. That would be lame. That would be I agree. the lamest I agree. way to resolve but, is to just, just to send her back in yeah, time. Yeah, but don't assume that lameness isn't going to come out of this. Come on. Okay. Lameness right. can well, still happen. Not, it's not an assumption. It's hope. Yeah, I yeah. hope they realize that that would be the worst thing they could do. Keep Giorgio no. on Discovery. It would be fantastic. They tipped their hat, guys. They gave Ash the. the he's in charge. Yeah. 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 They Ash, want him in charge. Ash can have his own Section 31 yeah. show. Maybe she's Section 32. <laughs> That's why I've been unconsciously saying this. Time. No, but I like the I like the actor and I like the character Ash, but he's not leading man material. I mean, this isn't the no. guy that can run his own TV show. He needs, I agree. He, I agree. He needs to be part of a group of people. He's fantastic. I love he's him. He's a great. He's done a great job. Cast, yeah. And, and God bless him for freaking pulling off Klingon. <laughs> the Chuck Nick. I mean, that language is ridiculous. And seeing him say it without the teeth, at least it doesn't sound stupid because he's not wearing he's not flossies. Yeah. Fake teeth. But, oh man, yeah, he's not right, lisping. Yeah. We're clearly excited. This is exactly the Star Trek thing I needed. I needed my a well to be filled. This in, is giving you your Star Trek fix. It is. I think oh, so. Can't wait to some have some solid news. But it's going to be months before we hear anything. Bob, it could literally be tomorrow. They might already have made these decisions. Yeah. They might. They, Did they might, make. They might. They might make a big announcement tomorrow. You think well, soon? I don't. I don't after know. this. Wait a minute. I said that. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> I think, who knows? Well, I'm thinking, should we agree with this nut job or what? I mean, nut job, I was that's right. Huge. So all along, I was right. I predicted everything this season. I knew the whole thing. Yeah. Confirmation bias. Whatever, I'm right. All yeah. right, guys. Who's the one that said they need more robots? I rest my case. You say that literally about everything. We could be driving to the store. I'm like, we need more robots. Like, just, <laughs> there is a robot in this store now. That's right. There's See? a grocery store. There's a robot going around. I'm closing it out, all right? Because I'm hungry. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. We will see you guys. Look, 
uh, alphaquadrant6.com, we're not going anywhere. Yeah. We're, we're going to be here. We're going to be putting out at least a show a week. Yep. We are probably... We've we, already recorded. We have a bunch in the can. Yeah, we have, coming wait, out. We're doing, we're doing more after more. this? Absolutely. Yeah. I signed like a, I signed like a one-season contract. We're gonna, we're gonna, so between now and the next season of Discovery, <laughs> we'll be doing other stuff. And yeah. tell us what you want All us right. to do. But we already have a bunch in the can. But please do, if you like the show, please become a patron to help us keep going. Um, and we will see you guys very, very soon. As a matter of fact, just expect... Uh, us to drop shows every week for quite a while yep. and do it like Steve said email us we want to hear what you have to say talk to you soon hey see you <laughs> see on you the bridge time. of the Enterprise with Captain we Pike and Spock <laughs> and number one number one I have to go number two <laughs> <laughs>